Hello and welcome to the demonstration of AppSea Connect. In today's demonstration, I will be showcasing you a short demo in between Dynamics 365 Business Central and Shopify. So for Business Central, we generally uh, compatible with two model. One is the Business Central cloud version and another one is Business Central on-premise. So in this demo, I am going to showcase you the entire integration points using Business Central on-premise. So that is generally connected with Microsoft Dynamics Nav client. And um, in this uh, particular platform, there will be a couple of sync features that I have configured. So we have one Apps eConnect agent that acts as an intermediate platform and that resides on your server. And it helps to synchronize all the data points. And also uh, for Business Central and Shopify, we have two ways to push the data. One is from Business Central to Shopify direction and another is one from uh, Shopify to Business Central direction. And also along with that, we have two triggers that are compatible with that. So one is the manual trigger. So the name itself suggests that manual trigger means manually you can synchronize all your data. And other one is uh, automatic trigger. So we have um, automote available and for automatic trigger, there will be a background process available and using that background process, um, there is an interval time period and using that time period, you are able to synchronize all your data. So generally the fastest is one minute, but definitely you can increase it based on your requirement. Now coming back to the integration points. Uh, so we have one demo Shopify store online store which is connected with um, one demo database company of business central and using that um, online shopify store i'm going to create a new customer so let me quickly provide the um, customer all the information like contact information and billing information so let me just quickly give the email id of that particular customer and this is a bi-directional process so that means uh, once you have all the uh, customer details from your front end store of shopify you can also give the shipping address from the online store as well and uh, since it's a bi-directional process so after giving the billing shipping and contact details uh, from your e-commerce to ERP platform you can also have the existing uh, customer details mentioned on your business central data and you can synchronize those information from business central to Shopify as well so that's why we call it as a bi-directional process now from this uh, front end Shopify store I quickly provide provided all the uh, information like the contact and billing shipping details. Now let me quickly go back to the business central server and here the agent resides and in this agent from Shopify to uh, business central direction we have created one integration point and that is customer ad. Using that integration point you are able to synchronize all your customer details and um, so once it will be done I'll quickly going into the customer section and I'll quickly showcase you that how the customer synchronization works. Now let me quickly go back to the customer section of business central on premise so here under the customer section I'll quickly provided the name which um, I registered from the online Shopify store and once I expand the uh, customer data you can find out that uh, the details are there so all the contact details and along with the address part so the address the city and the postal code everything has been uh, synchronized successfully now apart from that we have uh, some individual pages added over here and the function of this individual pages are like if any kind of extra fields um, someone is going to use on the Shopify end uh, regards to the website rega with regards to the uh, different kinds of customer groups so for that uh, no needs to uh, create any UDF on the business central on-premise side all the uh, pages all the extension um, is there so we have one extension that is certified by Microsoft so using that extension using that page we are able to do all the uh, important requirements that we get from the customer's end so and also this is a bi-directional process now coming back to the next integration point that is item so for that I'll quickly going into the inventory side and will quickly register as a new item uh, from the business central on-premise okay now if I going back into the item card 
of the business central on premise so here i have already created one item and um, so for shopify there can be two types of items one is the simple items or another one is the item with their different variants now um, coming back to the description ones uh, one so i provided the item basic description the item code and the item name here i just mentioned the unit price for the particular item and if i scroll down so there are few extra pages again we have added using our own extension um, so using that extension you have to provide certain flags you have to uh, enable certain flags like web item flag to make the item uh, visible on the shopify end and you have another flag and that is web item visible so that uh, that uh, provides the connector as a green signal that the item should be listed on the shopify online store now apart from those uh, sections we have the variants part where product child details so for uh, to list those variants we have the variant side where i just mentioned the variants let's say the color and sizes black and gray and then i just added to the cross references one so under the navigate option we have the cross references here i just mentioned the cross references type as barcode and the, then the variant code and then i mentioned the description and once i am done with that that item will automatically shown in the appsy connect web product child details page with the variant so that's a simple that's a simple item with their variants now um, you have all the extra data mentioned over there if you want to provide some basic description you can mention that item description over this web description tab if you want to add um, another or additional information you can also provide those additional details over there so that's the entire thing you can set for the item now i quickly save this item and i'll quickly going into the sales price tab so under the special prices option you can select the sales type uh, you want to select based on the customer specific price or the customer price group specific or the all customers so if i select the sales type as all customer specific then here would be the variant code section you need to select the variant and then for that particular variant you can select the unit price let's say 200 dollar same with the again uh, the another part and that is for another variant you just need to select the item number and um, once you select the item number you can have the variant code so from here you need to select the variant code and then you need to allocate another price for that particular variant and once you are just done with this i quickly save this entire information the entire special prices uh, based on the all customer specific option i just quickly save it from there and now if i open that item item with their variants i can see on the price option uh, under the uh, child details page i can find out that the price is available now so if i just quickly scroll down and here would be the product child details page and here you can find out that the price is available so now if I going into that particular item section for whom I just allocate the uh, sales price for the different variants under the web product child details page you can find out that against that particular variant the price has been allocated so for the black iPhone 7 the price has been allocated as $200 and against the gray you know um, iPhone 7 the price has been allocated as $400 so in this way we can allocate the prices uh, for the variants and now it's time to sync the entire item information so from business central to shopify direction we have got this integration point name known as product add with their variants using that um, the entire details will be showcaseable or listed under the shopify end so now if i going back to the shopify end and if i just open that particular item which currently i have synced from the business central direction so you can find out that all the data are available along with the title description and if i going into the variant side you can find out the variants are already there and along with that variance the unit price which i have allocated to these individual variants those are already present along with the sq as as well and apart from these details if um, any kind of categories collections or uh, other details someone wants to map in between shopify and the business central um, you know uh, client then those things can be done now the next integration point which is inventory 
so for that I need to open that particular item and I need to going into the item journal section and once I going into the item journal section I have got this uh, entry type which I can select as positive adjustment and then I need to select the item against whom I need to increase the uh, stock or quantity and now if you want to increase based on the variance then you need to going into the item availability by and then variant section and um, here you have to select the variant for whom you need to increase the quantity along with the warehouse code so you need to select the warehouse code from here and then you need to allocate one specific quantity for it same with the another variant so from here I'm just quickly choosing the item um, let's say 70062 that's the item I'm quickly choosing from the um, business central end and again also I need to select the certain variant for which I need to allocate the stock so that's gray one and here I am allocating the location code and I am just selecting the quantity 600 okay so once I successfully allocated the variance and then I allocated the quantities for those individual variants using that positive adjustment item journal option I'll quickly post the item journals from here so once I successfully posted um, the item journals for the items the uh, entire information will be showcaseable as the journal lines were successfully posted from business central on premise now I'll quickly go back to that agent and um, from the business central to Shopify direction we have got the inventory update information and using that inventory update the quantities uh, for the particular items or along with that item variance those entire information will be updated so once this will be done I'll quickly going back to my entire uh, product information against the uh, Shopify product page and uh, here if I quickly refresh the information you can find out that the uh, variance inventories have been updated so the black uh, one is 500 and the gray one is 600 so in this way we can manage the inventories um, with the respective platforms like Shopify and Business Central now coming back to the next integration point which is order so for order I can um, do the order by going into the front end and uh, search with the particular item against which I want to place the order so that's the item and uh, if I add this item to cart so this item has got two individual variants so if I select one variant and I add that particular item to cart so the next process will be the uh, customer shipping information so since that is placed against a registered customer the address already added now uh, for the tax and shipping method so tax and freight charges can be properly mapped in between ERP and e-commerce platform and um, same with the payment method as well so we are uh, pretty much flexible with all the payment methods uh, online offline both and now for the demo purpose I'm quickly selecting one dummy payment method and where I'm just quickly providing all the dummy information and then I'll complete or place the web order from Shopify front end store so once the web order has been successfully placed from this uh, Shopify online store I'll have the customer reference number and I'll have the order ID now let me quickly go back um, to this uh, particular zone where I have this order add integration point and once the process will be done I'll quickly going into the sales order section and um, I'll find out that whether the order has been converted into the sales order or not so now let me quickly find out with the customer name and um, let me quickly see that whether the sales order has been created or not so here is the order you can expand the entire order information as well to check all the item details line item details all the uh, customer information the posting date and order date has successfully synced or not so here um, in the order part uh, you can find out that that's the entire customer information and under the line item section that's the item information of any kind of tax VAT code or freight charges or discounts have been allocated those can also be showcaseable over there 
and um, similarly we have got the order flag which can remove the duplicate orders as well now the next process is to post the shipment or uh, and uh, invoice so we can have the ship and invoice uh, at a time or also we can segregate this two individual processes like firstly we can do the delivery part and we can have the tracking id for the delivery and then we can do the invoice part or we can uh, rather do the fulfillment process at a time so i'll quickly do the ship and invoice at a time and um, once this process will be done I'll quickly going into the agent and will synchronize the rest information. So as you can see that invoice and shipment has been created over this um, particular section and that has been um, went from the sales order and that has been uh, going into the posted documents tab. Now from um, Shopify to uh, Business Central and also from Business Central to Shopify we have got this fulfillment at integration point using which um, once you uh, create the delivery once you complete the invoice the status would be updated on the Shopify end and to check that I'll quickly quickly going into the particular option order option and we'll see that whether the status has been updated or not so for that I'll quickly going into the account option of that uh, particular customer and here uh, under the order history you can find out that the payment status is paid and the fulfillment status is fulfilled so in this way we can cover up all the uh, basic business scenarios in this uh, particular demo starting with the customers then doing the items uh, increasing the stock and uh, creating the orders and the fulfillment cycle so that's all for the demo of business central and shopify and if you have any questions, you can directly contact with us. Thank you.